not all, there's a little as ocean. Yeah, so I guess we need to map out where land masses are going, sink in how deep we want this thing to be ultimately, and then build up hubwards um, all of our mountains. Um, which means I guess we should take the other roll of that paper and oh, cut it out. Oh yeah, that's one way of doing it. Arts and crafts time. Okay, plastic off, compress that surface. To add the actual land masses, and we're going to map those out a little agriculturally at first. We've taken a full size map printout, um, cut out the disc itself, and now we're going to map the land masses inside. Um, we'll cut these out once we get to there, but what we want to do now is actually make sure that our foil is deep enough in the oceans for the bird bath in the places we need them to be, and the deepest place would actually be up here. Um, so the quick way to do this is if I get two helpers to hold this down. <laughs> and all I have to do is <laughs> flip this over. So I'm gonna start here at Ink More Pork, as all good stories do. And just give ourselves some vague lines where we need to be. First step on how we're going to get our continents accurate to the map, uh, we've laser cut out the oceans and Kim's mixing up some um, earthy toned palpaya to make a wafer form from. So we're going to use this as a mold. We'll squidge the palpaya in and then work it around to be our um, landmass. Start in the middle and then work this out. Now we don't need it wildly thick. We just need it accurate. Um, once this is completely cured, we're gonna flip it over and we'll be um, sculpting or we'll rasp the underside a little bit. We'll do a uh, scratch coat on top so that we can sculpt all of the mountains and things properly um, upright. But right now we just want this form so we can put it on the disc itself for when um, the next stage is hit. Let's find out if I made enough. Is a hole. <laughs> yes, there is. Right there. Okay, would you like to get the water? Yeah, I'm just going to that. Those are refreshing. Yeah, but yeah. it is. A concrete type clay shouldn't be able there. to do that. <laughs> okay, would you now like where's that hole? Right, is that the finger? Oh, hold on, I think I'm sure I've got it on my thumb. Who's the short person to record this? Yeah, that's a small idea. Otherwise, oh, well. it'll be stuck in underneath. Okay, and stiction time. And we know where it goes, where it lands, okay. with the little marks. That's so why everybody get your hands on this. And then you do a pretty uniform pressure, and you can see it starts to. Yeah, stop. Oh. 
I'm going to bling it. You might have gone too far. How? So that. Go too far? A little too far on this side, but that's because this side is unsupported. So how do we check whether we're at the right height? Careful. Stick. Break the long stick. The long stick. Well, none of this edge is right because it's resting on yep. the okay. So that edge should touch that mm -hmm. side. Yeah. Everything else should be slightly Okay, above. that looks good. And that looks oh, that's a little that's low. a little low. There might be a fraction low on that side. Do cool. you want a stick for that side? Oh, no, I mean, you see, this is textured, but if you put it on the wood here, you'll be able to see if it gets close to the edge. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And then this guy goes all the way up here. Oh, okay. Because he has a little island. All right. So, so that'll all need backfilled underneath there, cool. but keeping the blue as a little bit of a. So he's a little bit low on this side, yep. So we got a sand. Yep. Underneath. So I'll put a pancake under that corner all the way along. Well, actually, yeah, we've got quite a long low spot here, so we'll make. Wow, that we pushed that in way faster than I thought. Okay. And we have white, which is in the white bucket. We're okay. going to be mixing these up in a way that we can basically put this on the continents so that we can actually see where things are going to fit. And mm -hmm. we're going to try to put yellows in the deserts, greens where the forests and the swamps are, and whites uh, where the mountains are. However, we're also going to use white to tone down the yellows to get lighter deserts and darker deserts and things like that. Cool. Now, we've got the map that shows where things generally are. It's not 100% and we can probably take some liberties. We've got areas like um, Quorum of, or Genua over here, which is actually a swamp. They've got it yellow, so if we make that green, it's no big deal. Yeah. Um, and like we can improve. 4X over here, this is, this is probably going to be closer to just a pure ochre. Um, and then a lot of this area here, and this area here will be south of Circle Sea, which I'll mention. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be desert. Most of this is desert. And some of the counterweight continent will be kind of a mix. So when you're thinking about what we're putting in these places, this is kind of Asia-ish, this is kind of Middle Eastern and kind of deserty, and then we get into the mountains where we'll, so we'll do the green and the yellow layers first, then we'll put the white layers last, the pure white layers last, right in the middle where the mountains are, up to Cori Celeste, which is in the middle. Okay. Cori Celeste is going to be about that tall, and it's going to be about that wide at the base. It's going to go whack. So it's this is so actually, a, this is the highest quality spring steel there is. So this is a perfect. Also, these pigments, this is finger painting, like you did when you were five years old. So you can have a green and a white, and you can mix them together in your hands and create a new color. And so go absolutely wild. This is finger print. So we're going to make a batch about yay of each of these, and then everyone gets a chunk of it, mixes the color, and put them on like he said. We're going to have way more than we need, I think. Just because this is, it's going to be fairly light on these. So the yellow areas and the low areas, it's going to be pretty thin. We're not mm -hmm. going to put much on those. The greens and the whites will obviously climb to the top, but um, I don't know how high you actually want to do the continents. So that'll be kind of a feel. Green, we have yellow. 
and we have white. You can take a pinch of this, a pinch of that, and a pinch of that, and you can mix them together into your own color in seconds. And so the idea is you can pinch something on there, force it into that nice texture, and then put another daub right next to it. You're almost pixelating the surface with color, and that's how you use it. That's it. Low tech. And you can make it pretty thick. Make it at least three mil thick. Do we have any more white? Yeah, yeah. yeah just made some. I'm just looking at Core Celeste from this angle and it's looking almost vertical on one side and more sloped on this side. That's fine. Okay. I don't mind that. There's enough mass there. Somebody with not as much. Um, no, I felt very much. It's not going to be white. Anything I touch is not going to be white anymore. Yeah. That's the word for green. I'm going to do yeah. It's going to be an exciting video of just like, whoopee. The Lundberg is upside down, not more. Well, considering how important this is, we really did need this many hands on it. It's pretty magical. Don't put somebody like Art Dress and go, no. Oh, that's amazing. Is it a vertical cut or a horizontal cut? Go around cut? the edge like this and clearly make that line.